What is up, everybody? It is Nick here, and it's day. I think this is the fourth day in a row we're doing a story time because I'm telling you guys, this is going pretty successful so far. And like I said in the last video, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, guys. Today, uh, this is the story of the time I was on national television with the Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Now, as 99.9% .9 of you are aware, uh, yes, I have a TikTok, and we're almost at 300,000 followers, actually, and we're almost at 2,500 subscribers here, so, yeah, so thank you guys for that, but um, with that comes uh, a lot of opportunities, and there's this app called Cameo, and basically what it is, is people pay uh, I, I charged like $2 at the time, uh, and you get a personalized message. Why anyone would buy a cameo from me is beyond me, but uh, I've gotten a couple, and you know, I do it. It's fun, and I, when I, at the time, I made it with the lowest price it could be. Now they had a whole bunch of changes and stuff. So at the time, it was $2, and I did these cameos. One morning, I wake up to go to school. It's just a regular school day, and I, I check my phone as I do every morning. At this time, TikTok was the only social media I really had a following on, so when I would wake up in the morning, I would check TikTok, I would check my Snapchat, Twitter, all that stuff, you know, as a normal high schooler would. And on Cameo, I had gotten a message from one of the producers of Inside the NBA, and at the time, I did not believe it at all. But the cameo they basically asked for, uh, they said it was Shaq's birthday and they were trying to get some, some people uh, that were not as well known as other people. Basically the whole bit was that they were going to, uh, it, there were two birthdays, Shaq's and Kenny's. And for Kenny they were going to do a bunch of Hall of Famers and stuff like that. And then for Shaq they were going to go and get some people from TikTok or podcasts. Basically people you had never heard of at that point. Uh, low level celebrities as you would say. Um, and I thought it was fake. I, I said there's no way that this is real. They're not really going to put me on TV. But you know two bucks is two bucks. I'll make the cameo. Um, and he, he said all they needed really needed or wanted me to do personally um, was just try to be try to act like I didn't know who Shaq was and try to say as many inaccurate things as possible. I do have the clip right here, and for some reason, a lot of people don't believe me when I say that this is 1,000% real. So if you want, I'm going to put the link to the full uh, bit uh, on Inside the NBA from their YouTube. That will be in the link in the description of this video. But uh, here it is. This and, and like I said, I wake up, I see this. I drive to school, and and before I walk into the school, you know, it's 8 in the morning, and I just say, all right, I'll record this cameo right here in my car. And it, it turned out they really liked it. Uh, I think they sent out a bunch of cameo requests to people, but they ended up choosing two of us uh, to do. And this this is it. No, I, was okay. I wasn't better than Phil. See, that's outstanding, Thanks, isn't it? That was wonderful. Shaq? We've got Shaq. Wait, wait. Shaq, we've got a cameo for you. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> let's, uh -oh. let's roll those. Happy birthday, Shaq. I'm a <laughs> big TikTok fan. Um, one of my favorite actors ever, Shaq. Uh, loved you in Shazam. Um, Kazam. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch it, but I heard good things. Um, the movie Shrek was phenomenal. Um, and uh, when is Shrek Four coming out? Just, just want to know because, like I said, huge fan, Shaq. Um, happy birthday, you big ogre. Not gonna lie, you know, if you know me and you watch my videos, um, I don't act that way. But I think I did a pretty good job for what they told me to do. Just act like a complete asshole and. Uh, try to get as many things wrong. I, I remember I, I had to think in the car because I had to go to school and so I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Shazam instead of Kazam. Um, and I just, they gave me some things to say as well. But not going to lie, you know, I'm going to pat myself on the back. I kind of nailed it. And you got to remember at this time, I didn't think it was serious. So I didn't try as hard as I usually would in a cameo, which I think helped me out in the end because it gave them what they were looking for. Basically, I make that cameo and I don't think it's real. I go to school. I go home. Uh, chill out. Next morning, I wake up, business as usual. Um, I have late arrival at my school, which means that I don't have to come until second period. So I wake up at about 7.30. I get to school by eight. I'm sitting in the car. I walk into my first class of the day, which is music theory. And I'm sitting there and my friend Cannon comes up to me and he goes, hey, 
That was pretty sweet. You were on Inside the NBA. I go, what? He goes, yeah, look. Shows me a clip. And it's the clip I just showed you guys. And I say, no, that's that's fake. That's not real. Whoever made that is just, like, messing with me. He goes, no, dude, this is actually real. And I go, all right, I'll look it up myself. I look up the YouTube video, see it. Guys, I completely freak out. Like, big time. I love Shaq. I love Inside the NBA. Did I expect this to happen? Absolutely not. So I'm freaking out at this point. The whole day, I'm freaking out at school. People are coming up to me left and right. Uh, we're going crazy over this. I mean, this is pretty big news, guys. Um, I text my parents. I text my family. I send them the video. I'm like, guys, this is not real. I shit you not. I was on Inside the NBA. Check it out. I mean, we were going crazy. I was going crazy for, you know, I, I couldn't stop shaking for about an hour or two. Looking back on it, I really was in the right place at the right time. But, you know, the good thing is I set myself up to be in the right place at the right time. And then I recorded that, you know, video right before I walked into school. People were also messing with me, too, because if you watch the full video and you go watch the full thing on YouTube at the very end, uh, I think Kenny says I look like Yao Ming, which I've been told that many times, but that was really funny. So, yeah, and then I posted a TikTok about it. People saw it. Uh, my followers were going crazy. I got a couple followers from uh, from being on the show. They didn't put my username in, you know, kind of salty at Inside the NBA, but it's okay. I'm just happy I was on there in the first place. It was really cool, and it's something I can look back on and show uh, my children maybe sometime down the road, you know? Anyway, if you like these videos that I've been putting out the last couple days, uh, all I ask is for you guys to subscribe. Uh, go ahead and like and comment. I try to respond or uh, I try to answer any questions I get in the comments, and I like every single comment I get unless it's stupid. If it's stupid, I'll remove it. Um, but, yeah, guys, I really enjoy making these videos. Uh, I have a blast making them, and I'm going to continue to make them. Uh, I think it's been four days in a row. So I appreciate the support that you guys have given the series. I appreciate the support you guys have given the account. And uh, thank you guys, and have a nice day.